ซีดีเสียงประจำชุดวิชา10111ภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อการสื่อสารสาขาวิชาศิลปศาสตร์มหาวิทยาลัยสุขโขทัยธรรมาธิราชในชุดวิชานี้มีซีดีเสียงทั้งหมดจำนวน4แผ่นสวัสดีค่ะนักศึกษาซีดีเสียงประจำชุดวิชาภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อการสื่อสารแผ่นที่สีนี้เป็นกิจกรรมฝึกปฏิบัติการฟังการพูดและการสนทนาหน่วยที่11ต่อจากแผ่นที่3และกิจกรรมของหน่วยที่12 13 14และ15ค่ะขอเชิญนักศึกษาฝึกปฏิบัติกิจกรรมตามลำดับเริ่มตั้งแต่เรื่องที่ 11.2.2 นะคะการออกเสียงให้ถูกต้องจำเป็นจะต้องฝึกฝนโดยทำตามขั้นตอนดังนี้ 1. ออกเสียงคำโดดๆเช่น
customer. 2. นำคำนั้นมาเข้ากลุ่มคำและฝึกออกเสียงกลุ่มคำเช่น My first customer. 3. นำกลุ่มคำขยายเป็นประโยคและฝึกออกเสียงประโยคนั้นคำที่ต้องลงเสียงหนักคือคำพวก Content words. ซึ่งได้แก่ Nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. และคำพวก Demonstratives. ซึ่งได้แก่ This, that, these, those. เช่น You're my first customer. Since you're my first customer, I'll sell it to you then. นอกจากนี้ในการฝึกออกเสียงกลุ่มคำและประโยคควรจะฝึกในเรื่อง 1. การเชื่อมโยงเสียงคำที่อยู่ติดกันบางคำในกลุ่มคำหรือในประโยคเช่น Fred doesn't like coffee. 2. การออกเสียงสูงต่ำในประโยค Intonation. เช่น You are my first customer. I'll sell it to you then. การลงเสียงหนักในคำ stress และการออกเสียงสูงต่ำในประโยค intonation มีส่วนในการสื่อความหมายของผู้พูดเช่น 1. She lives in Paris. ลงเสียงต่ำท้ายประโยคเป็นการบอกเล่า She lives in Paris. ขึ้นเสียงสูงท้ายประโยคเป็นการถาม 2. He wants to see your son Larry. ลูกชายชื่อแลรี่ He wants to see your son Larry ผู้พูดกำลังพูดกับแลรี่ซึ่งมีลูกชายและเราไม่รู้จักชื่อลูกชายของแลรี่ Activity 7 Speaking Practice Pronunciation A Listen and Repeat Number 1 Bamboo Bamboo Stick I think they are bamboo sticks Number 2 Trunk That trunk. Look at that trunk. Number three. Rattan. Made of rattan. It's made of rattan. Number four. Grains. Beautiful grains. It has beautiful grains on it. B. Listen and repeat. Number one. Shall we go now? Number two. Are there any Thai silk shops here? Number three. What is it made of? Number four. How much is it? Number five. How much is this one? Number six. How much are they? Number seven. What sort of things would you like to see first? Number eight. What are those? Number nine. What type of wood? Number ten. Can we get a bottle of drinking water, please? Number eleven. Where are they from? Number twelve. How much is this bracelet? Activity 8. Describing objects. A. Listening. Match the descriptions you hear on the tape to the pictures below. Write the number of each description under the picture. There are only three descriptions. Number 1. This is a kind of wicker product. It is made of bamboo stick. We can hang it on the wall and put a small plant pot in it. Number two. This object is made of marble. You can give it as a gift on a special occasion. It is used for holding pens. Number three. This object is made of silk. It can also be a valuable New Year present. You can use it for many purposes, keeping your jewelry, money, etc. Sports Day. Twelve point one. Where do you suggest I meet you? Twelve point one point two. Presentation. Presentation A. It is Rasa's university sports day next week. Rasa has asked Paul, the English teacher from Sukhothai Tamatiwat Open University, 
to come and help out, as they need more native speakers to referee the games. Listen to her telephone conversation with Paul. Good morning. May I speak to Paul, please? This is Paul speaking. Paul, this is Ressa, Amarin's younger sister. Yes, Ressa. Your sister said you might call me. I'm calling to ask a favor from you. What is it? Well, next week my university is having a sports day. There will be many kinds of ball games, athletics, and other popular sports like swimming and judo. I was wondering if you'd like to come along and help out. I'd love to. What day is your university sports day? Next Friday. I'm free that day, so I will be happy to help you. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome, Rasa. Where do you suggest that I meet you? How about at the big department store? That's fine. What time? Is 6:30 a.m. too early for you, Paul? No, that's okay. Is there anything that you recommend I bring with me? No, the university will give you a hat, a shirt, and shorts. Okay, Rasa. I'll see you at 6:30 a.m. next Friday morning then. Thanks very much, Paul. See you then. Don't mention it. I'll see you then. Presentation B. Listen to the conversation between Arin and Pete. They are discussing Arin's suggestion that Rasa call Paul and ask him to help at her university games. Pete, do you remember when I suggested to Rasa that she call up Paul and ask him to help her at her sports day? Yes. Why? Well, she did, and I didn't think she would. What's the problem? Well, Paul said he'd do it. I know he's very busy, and perhaps he doesn't have the time to go there. I don't think you have anything to worry about. If Paul hadn't wanted to go, he would have told Raza that he couldn't make it on that day. Perhaps you are right. Anyway, I'm sure Raza must have been very polite on the phone. And Paul hasn't been here very long, so it, it'll be an interesting experience for him. I think he'll have great fun. I'm sure all the students will appreciate that he made the effort to help them out. I remember my sports day at school, and they were great. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. We'll take Paul out for dinner to thank him for helping Rasa. Or better still, make Rasa do his washing for a month. Twelve point one point six activities. Activity one: pronunciation. Listen to the sentences and repeat them after the tape. Number one. Where do you suggest that I meet you? Number two. I think we should meet Ken at the tennis court now. Number three. What would you recommend I take to sports day? Number four. Is there anything that you recommend I bring with me? Number five. I suggested to Rasa that she call up Paul and ask him to help her at her sports day. Activity two: invitations and replies. Choose the best answer for each item. Listen to the tape to check your answers. Then play the tape again and repeat the conversations. Number one. Would you like to come to dinner at my house after the football game? Sure. Number two. Are you doing anything tomorrow? How about lunch at my house? I'd be delighted to. What time should I arrive? Number three. We're going to the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, or Wat Prakel, today. Can you come? That sounds great. Where shall we meet? Number four. I heard that you're visiting Thailand. I'd like to invite you to stay at my house. I can then show you around. That sounds like fun. Number five. How about a game of tennis this evening? Thanks, but I can't make it. I've already made other plans. Activity five: Speaking. S T O U Sports Day. B. Play the tape and have a conversation with Arin. Arin calls to see if you would like to go to the S T O U Sports Day. Good morning. May I speak to Sun Pan, please? This is Sun Pan speaking. This is Erin here from S T O U. Hi, Erin. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Very well, thank you. 
I was just ringing to see if you were going to the upcoming STOU Sports Day. Yes, I am. Are you going? I will be going. I think it will be fun. What sports do you like to play? I like to play badminton. What sports do you like to play? I like to play basketball and tennis. STOU has basketball and tennis courts, which is good. Have you used them? Yes, I have. I like to go there sometimes on the weekends. It's a bit hard to go there during the week, as there's lots of traffic in the evenings. Is there much traffic where you live? Yes. Anyway, s o m p o n I'll see you at STOU Sports Day. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Twelve point two. Could you please tell me what the rules and regulations are? Twelve point two point two. Presentation. Paul has come to help out. Read and listen to the dialogue between the speakers discussing the activities. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for coming to help out today. It is greatly appreciated. As you all come from different schools and universities, could you please introduce yourselves? Good morning. My name is Paul, and I work at STOU, which is short for Sukhothai t a m a t i r a t Open University. Hello, I am James, and I come from South Africa, and I work for St. Francis. Hi, I'm Helen. I come from Canada and work for St. John's. Good morning. I'm Arin. I work with Helen. You all know Bill, Jackie, Hubbard, and Mark as they are teachers here. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. As you all know, it is the University Sports Day today, and we want all the rules and refereeing to be done in English. That is why we have extra native speakers today. Bill, could you please tell the students what sports will be played today? Certainly, Kun s a w a l a k Good morning, everyone. It's good to see you all here today. Today you will play eight sports: football, basketball, chair ball, volleyball, badminton, tennis, swimming, and athletics. Excuse me, Bill, but does one play swimming at athletics? I'm sorry. I should have said you will play football, basketball, chair ball, volleyball, badminton, and tennis, and there will also be swimming and athletics. Apart from that, we'll also have cheerleading. Thank you, Bill. Now, please follow your team captains over to the football field and let us begin. Bill, could you explain the rules for badminton, please? Yes, badminton is similar to tennis in that you use a racket, but you use a shuttlecock instead of a ball. You must not catch the shuttlecock or hit it with your hands or feet. You should not hit the shuttlecock out of play or into the net, as you will lose the point. You ought to hit the shuttlecock over the net and try to place it so the person you are playing against cannot hit it back. Thank you, Bill. Students, are you guys ready for the game? More than ready. ready. We, We just, just can't, can't wait. wait. I'm glad to hear that. Let's go, shall we? After the games are all finished. How was the football match, Mark? It went quite well. The red team beat the yellow team 3-2. It must have been a very exciting match. It certainly was. By the way, what was the result of the basketball game between the blue team and the green team? The blue team won by 10 points. I'm glad to see that our students were all harmonious and played fairly today. It didn't really matter to them if they won or lost the game. I'm so glad to hear that. Being united is the most important to all of us, and especially our students. I totally agree with you, s a w a l a k Twelve point two point six, activities. Activity nine, stress. Listen and underline the word that is stressed in the following sentences. Number one. You shouldn't smoke in here. Number two. Irene could have a healthier lifestyle. Number three. Gon must wait for his mother to arrive home before he is able to go out to play golf. Number four. I wanted to go to my aerobics class today, but I couldn't because I was sick. Number five. May I help you? Number six. Would you like to go cycling this afternoon? Activity 12. Modals. 
B. Play the tape and give your responses. Number 1. You work in a sporting goods store. A customer is now looking at a number of tennis rackets, but still can't decide which one to buy. What would you say to offer to help him choose a racket? Can I help you choose a racket? Number 2. You are at a driving range with your friends. They are running out of golf balls. What would you say to offer to get them another bucket of golf balls? Can I get you another bucket of golf balls? Number 3. After playing in a football match, you feel thirsty. What would you say to the team assistant to request for some water? Can you get me some water, please? Number 4. You are arranging a tennis match. You want George to be an umpire. What would you say to him? Could you please be an umpire for our tennis match, George? Number 5. Your daughter is having a swimming competition next week. It's important that she practice very hard from now on. What would you say to her? You are having a swimming competition next week. You must practice very hard from now on. It's important that you practice very hard from now on. Twelve point three. How to keep fit and well. Twelve point three point two. Presentation. Rasa is speaking to Paul, thanking him for his help. Paul, thank you very much for coming and helping today. No problem at all. It was good to be outside. I hope you had a good day. It was fun. I like sports and keeping fit. All the students liked you. I'm pleased to hear that. You must be really fit. Being able to run around the football field for so long and not look exhausted at all. How can you keep yourself fit like that, Paul? I've been trying to lead a healthy lifestyle, and keeping fit is part of that. What do you mean by a healthy lifestyle? To me, it includes eating a nutritious and balanced diet, having time to relax, not having too many worries, getting some exercise, and getting a good night's sleep. That sounds very good to me. You really take good care of your health. No wonder why you look so healthy. What about you, Rasa? Do you have a healthy lifestyle? I hope so. I try to eat healthy foods, get some exercise, sleep well and relax. I try to stay away from alcoholic drinks or cigarettes. Instead, I drink a lot of still water and mineral water. Also, although stress is a part of life, I try to control it effectively. Because too much stress or stress that goes on for a long time can become harmful. I agree with you entirely, Rasa. Stress happens to everyone every day as we cope with ordinary events, interact with people, and meet all kinds of demands. Right. Everyday things such as rules, work, responsibility, decisions, changes, relationships, illnesses, and money can cause stress. A little stress is good, though. It makes you think and try harder. It stimulates and provides excitement. The stress of competitive sports, for example, is enjoyable for most people. Exactly. But too much of it is certainly no good. Stress can also give rise to many other symptoms, such as fast heartbeats, tense muscles, eating disorders, sleeplessness, migraine, stomach ulcers, skin rashes, and many others. That's why I try to control it as effectively as I can. You certainly look after yourself very well, Rasa. Yes, most of the time, but not today. Why not? You see, I'm now walking with a limb. I think I pulled a muscle in my leg while I was playing chair ball. Would you like me to take you to see a doctor or to a pharmacy? No, it's okay. I have some tiger balm at home that I rub into my leg. Okay, Rasa. I'm going home now. Are you taking the bus to the big department store in Red Prow? Yes, I am. Can you wait for me and my friends so we can go with you? Sure. 
Your take only a couple of minutes. 12.3.5.3 Listening and speaking. A. K sound in ache and stomach. ขอให้นักศึกษาฟังและสังเกตว่า C H ในคำว่า ache และ stomach นั้นออกเสียงเป็นเสียง k ไม่ใช่ ch เช่นในคำว่า headache backache earache toothache และ stomachache นอกจากนี้ยังมีคำอื่นอีกบางคำที่ C H ออกเสียงเป็น k เช่น character characterize Characteristic, characteristically, chaos, chaotic. แต่ทั้งนี้ขอให้พึงระลึกว่ามี ch อีกจำนวนมากที่ไม่ได้ออกเสียงเป็น k แต่ออกเสียงเป็น ch. ดังนั้นเพื่อให้สามารถออกเสียงคำต่างๆได้อย่างถูกต้องนักศึกษาควรตรวจสอบวิธีการออกเสียงจากพจนานุกรมด้วย b linking sounds ในการออกเสียงประโยคภาษาอังกฤษมักมีการโยงเสียงระหว่างเสียงพยัญชนะท้ายของคำหน้ากับเสียงของสระคำถัดไปดังตัวอย่างต่อไปนี้ He has a sore throat. I have a stomachache. She has a cold. He has a earache. Twelve point three point six activities. Activity seventeen: pronunciation, linking sounds and k sound in ache and stomach. Listen and connect the sounds that link. Then say the sentences. Number one. I have a cough. Number two. She has a backache. Number three. He has a headache. Number four. She has an earache. Number five. I have a stomachache. Activity nineteen: Healthy living or unhealthy living. Read and listen to Martin and James describing their daily routines. Who has the healthy lifestyle, Martin or James? Martin. I usually wake up at 5 a m. I sometimes lie in bed for five minutes, but then I have to get up and go to the toilet. I usually do yoga and then practice meditation for about an hour each morning before I take a shower, clean my teeth, and get dressed. On weekdays, I have breakfast at 7:30 a m, lunch at 12 a m, and dinner at around 7 p m. I also have one or two snacks. Such as biscuits or fruit during the day at work. As I live on my own, I have to make my own breakfast and dinner, but during the week I don't bother to cook very much. I don't eat a lot of red meat, but I do eat a lot of fish, vegetables, and fruits. I drink a lot of water during the day and before I go to bed. For breakfast, I usually have some toast or cereal with milk, either cow milk or soybean milk, some fruits, fruit juice. And water. I have a lunch break from 12 a m to 1 p m, and a couple of short breaks during the day. I usually have different kinds of noodles for lunch. I can't stand eating American fast food like hot dogs and hamburgers. In the evening, I usually have a light dinner, like salad and steamed fish. I neither drink nor smoke. I want to keep myself fit and healthy. After work. I usually go to a gym for weight training and aerobics, which usually takes about one to two hours. During the week, I usually stay in. I mean, stay at home and have a rest, relax, and don't do much, except watching TV, listening to music, and reading. But at the weekend, I often go out, doing some shopping, going to the cinema. But quite often, I also have friends for dinner, or friends just come round for a chat. Most evenings, I go to bed at about 10 p.m. I'm usually tired, so I fall asleep very quickly. I usually sleep well and get up fresh the next morning. James, during the week, I usually wake up at 6 a.m. 
but I don't get up until 7.30 a.m. I often feel too tired to get out of bed and get dressed because I tend to sleep late almost every night. I think it's already a habit. I usually get home rather late at night as I often hang out with my friends after work. Sometimes we get together and have a few drinks at a restaurant or a pub. We all enjoy chatting, drinking, and singing. Sometimes we go dancing in a nightclub or go to a movie. I love doing all these activities. It's a lot of fun. Occasionally, I can't get to sleep, especially when I have stress and worries. When that happens, I sometimes manage to fall asleep about 3 a.m. Then I oversleep. I mean, I sleep too long in the morning. I'm always in a rush to get to work, so I skip breakfast and don't usually have anything to eat or drink until about 10.30 a.m. when I take the first coffee break. I drink about four or five cups of coffee a day. At lunch, I often go out to eat fast food with my colleagues at the nearest shopping center. I find it fast and convenient. It takes me less than half an hour to finish my lunch. That means I can spare some time to do quick shopping and smoke a cigarette on the way back to work. It's too bad that smoking is not allowed in an office building. I've been smoking since I was 18. Although I realize that smoking is no good, it's hard to quit. However, I used to be a heavy smoker, but now I'm trying to cut it down. I hope to be able to quit smoking soon. I'm not good at sports, so I don't play any, although I always want to keep myself fit. Maybe that's why I'm not so healthy. I have asthma, and sometimes I can't breathe. I'd like to eat good food, but I don't know how to cook, so I usually eat out. Whenever I don't go out and have nothing to eat, I open canned food or order some pizzas from the takeaway. I relax by watching TV and listening to CDs until I fall asleep. I sometimes have good dreams, too. Activity 20. Illnesses and Injuries Listen to Rasar speaking and underline the injuries and illnesses she mentions. We were lucky this year at my university's games, as not too many people got injured or sick. As I told you before, I am walking with a limp as I pulled a muscle in my leg. It is not too bad as I can still walk. A girl was stung by a bee which looked to be very painful for her. I do not think she will have any problems though, as she said she is not allergic to bees. Nick, the foreign exchange student from Aaron's University, came along to watch. He did not play any game, but still managed to injure himself. He tripped over a rock and cut his knee. I should not have laughed, but it was quite funny. My friend Yui fell over during the basketball game and sprained her wrist. She was in a lot of pain and could not finish the game. I felt sorry for her, and then in the football match, one of the boys twisted his ankle and had to have it heavily strapped. Luckily, there was no major injuries like broken bones or dislocations. We have a good first aid team that is able to cope with everything though. Activity 21. Lifestyles. Listen to and complete the dialogue on Erin's and her friend's lifestyles. It's good to see you today, Kate. It's good to see you today too, Erin. Where's everyone? They will be coming soon. Here they are now. Hello everyone, how are you? What take you so long? Well, there was a lot of traffic today. Hi, James. What did you do this morning? I went to the big department store and ate two big plates of food. Now I'm full and I want to go to sleep. I wish I hadn't eaten so much. Who did you go there with? I went with Kate. You should have seen how much James had to eat. I only ate a small amount and I'll have some fruit in a little while. Why don't we play some volleyball before we study? That's a great idea. What do you all think? I'm a bit tired. Come on, it will give us more energy to study and it will be good fun. Look at James, he needs it too. Oh, here's Gone. Do you want to play volleyball, Gone? Why not? It's not too hot outside today. Let's go to the court. Activity 22. Illnesses and Remedies After checking your answers, use the information you've matched in A to practice the conversation by interacting with the tape. Picture 1 has been done as an example. Do the same for the other three people. Picture 1. 
Hey Anne, what's wrong with you? Oh, I have a sore throat. Oh, why don't you drink a little tea with honey? Yeah, that's a good idea. And if it doesn't get better, you should go to the doctor. Yes, you are right. Picture two. Hey Mark, what's wrong with you? Oh, I have a stomach ache. Oh, why don't you take antacid? Yeah, that's a good idea. And if it doesn't get better, you should go to the doctor. Yes, you're right. Picture three. Hey Brian, what's wrong with you? Oh, I have a headache. Oh, why don't you take aspirin? Yeah, that's a good idea. And if it doesn't get better, you should go to the doctor. Yes, you're right. Picture four. Hey Pete, what's wrong with you? Oh, I have a cold. Oh, why don't you have a hot drink and go to bed? Yeah, that's a good idea. And if it doesn't get better, you should go to the doctor. Yes, you're right. Activity 23. Healthy lifestyle. B. Play the tape and have a conversation with Arin. You call Arin at work to speak to her about your lifestyle. Good morning, a and Important Export Company. Can I help you? Could I speak to Erin, please? Could you hold the line while I transfer you? Yes, certainly. Good morning, Erin speaking. Good morning, this is Sompan speaking. Hi, Sompan. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay, but I have just been working and studying too hard and I think I need to change my lifestyle and become a little bit more healthy. What do you mean? I need to try and do some more exercise during the week. What exercise do you do during the week? I usually jog every day and I play tennis twice a week. I think I get enough sleep and I do not feel tired when I wake up. What are your sleeping habits? I usually go to bed at 10 p.m. and wake up at 6 a.m. Most importantly, I don't have too much stress, relax after work, and don't panic about work. Anyway, Sompan, I must get back to work. Thanks for calling me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, bye for now. Unit 13. Time to relax. 13.1. Movie time. 13.1.2. Listen to the conversation between Nick and Rasar and do the presentation activity that follows. Dialogue A. Rasar and Nick are planning their activities for the weekend. What do you plan to do this weekend, Rasar? I don't know yet. Do you have any plans? Let's go to a movie then. I haven't seen any for two weeks. That's a good idea. What do you want to see? Hmm. Why don't you call and check with the theater which movies are on? You can choose the one you like. All right. What should we meet? Let's see. Why don't we have lunch first and then go to a movie later? I'll pick you up at home around 10 tomorrow. Okay. See you then. Dialogue B. Rasa and Nick are talking about the movie they have just seen. Did you like the movie, Nick? Well, it was quite boring at the beginning. I almost fell asleep, but it was okay. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. But it was very sad and depressing to see the actor or actress die at the end. It's one of the most romantic movies I've ever seen. You don't really like dramas or romances, do you? Not exactly. I haven't seen much of them, really. I should have picked any actions or comedies. Sorry about that. Oh, please don't be. It wasn't so bad. Shall we have some ice cream? My treat. I won't say no. Activity 3. Giving Opinions Listen to the following people giving opinions about the movies they saw and write whether they are positive or negative comments. Number 1. City of Angels is one of the most romantic movies I've ever seen. Nicolas Cage and Meg Ryan are both charming. They also have good chemistry. Number 2. It was a heartbreaking ending when he was executed. His performance was great. The movie really deserved an Academy Award. Number 3. 
It was a fairly good movie, but it did not live up to expectations. Number four. The previews promised something more exciting, but it turned out to be a disappointment. Number five. This movie is suitable for people of all ages. I thought it was entertaining. Activity four. Giving opinions. A. Read the following conversations and fill in the blanks using the information provided in Thai. Check your answer with a tape. Then, listen to it once again and practice giving responses orally. Number one. Have you seen Bridget Jones's diary? Yes, I saw it last week. What did you think of it? It was very funny. I like the heroine. Her acting was great. Really? So is it worth seeing? Absolutely. Number two. Have you seen Blood Surf? Yes, I have. On video. What did you think of it? I thought it was awful. I saw the crocodile on wheels. Really? So isn't it worth seeing? I don't think so. Thirteen point two, spare time. Thirteen point two point two, presentation. Rasai gets home with Nick one evening and finds Arin in the garden. Hi, sis. What are you doing out here? I'm reading. The weather is too good to keep staying indoors. Nick's here with me. Hi, Arin. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. I'm fine. How about yourself? Pretty good. What are you reading? It's a best-selling novel by Nicholas Sparks. I'm trying to practice my reading skills. Good for you. Message in a bottle is the same story as the movie played by Kevin Costner, isn't it? It sure is, but it's much more romantic, and some parts are not the same. I really like the movie. The plot was so romantic. How can I find such a man? Writing a love letter to his dead wife, putting it in a bottle, and tossing it in the ocean was touching. That inspired me to buy this book. I think books can tell more. Also, I can spend time enjoying a good book and improving my English at the same time. I like reading too. Perhaps I should find an easy-to-read Thai book to practice my Thai. That's a good idea. Well, excuse me, you guys. I'd better start cooking. Would you like to stay for dinner, Nick? I'd love to. That's very kind of you. Make yourself at home, Rasa. Why don't you take Nick inside and watch TV while I prepare dinner? Okay, come on, Nick. What do you want to do, Nick? Watch TV or listen to music? Whatever. Let's watch the Discovery Channel. They always good programs on. But you can tune the TV to an another channel if you like, but not after the eight o'clock news. Why is that? I'm addicted to a certain Thai drama series after news. Really? How come Thai people are very fond of these Thai series? And why do American housewives love soap operas? It's just the same. I see your point, but I just don't understand why people need to rush home only to watch their favorite program, even tape the last episode if they can't make it. Maybe they're TV addicts like me, or they're crazy about watching their favorite stars. You'll never understand until you have lived here long enough. I guess so. Activity nine. Expressing likes and dislikes. Listen to the following people expressing their likes and dislikes, and put a check mark or an X in the appropriate columns: likes or dislikes, respectively. Number one. I love reading novels. Number two. I'm fond of listening to music. Number three. I don't really like fast food. Number four. My favorite movie is Gone with the Wind. Number five. I can't stand eating insects. Activity twelve. Present continuous tense. Listen to the tape and fill in the names and activities these people are doing. Hello, my name's Ben. I share this apartment with four friends: Jack, Jill, Mark, and Kate. Today is Saturday. Nobody's home except Jack and me. Mark is dining out with his girlfriend Jenny, who's a VJ on TV. Jill and Kate are going shopping. They love shopping very much. 
Now Jack is watching a live tennis program in the living room while I'm surfing the net in the bedroom. There are so many emails I need to respond to, but I have to order some books first. I hope you are enjoying your studies. Bye for now. Thirteen point three, my favourite pastime. Thirteen point three point two, presentation. Listen to each of the four main characters, Arin, Gon, Rasa, and Nick, talking about their favourite pastimes. Arin, one of my favourite pastimes is listening to music, and I'm fond of contemporary love songs, especially sung by female artists like Bo Sunitha, Marsha, and Nicole. I love movie soundtracks, such as the soundtrack from Notting Hill, which is so romantic. I enjoy listening to the radio and CDs while driving, even singing along sometimes. I also have a huge collection of both CDs and cassette tapes at home. There's another kind of music I like to listen to when I'm down. You know, I've heard that listening to classical music of some particular times can help reduce stress. Gone. In my free time, I can sit in front of the computer for hours. I really like to search for useful information on the internet, order interesting books, or chat with people using ICQ. It's fun unless you spend too much time at it. Surfing the net is important in this information age. You can keep abreast of the news and make use of it in your work and personal life. r a s a I've been attached to dogs since my childhood. Now I keep a pug. A c h i s u and a toy poodle, named Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy, respectively. I enjoy feeding and looking after them. I often walk them at a nearby park. It's not a big deal taking care of these three little doggies, except for Daisy. She needs grooming every other month, as she doesn't shed her fur. I love playing with all of them. They're good dogs. They make good companions. Are loyal to their owner. And they have never fought with each other. I love them very much. They really are man's best friend. Nick, this country is full of beautiful attractions. When I'm free, I spend a lot of time traveling, both in Bangkok and up country. It's a great experience for me to explore this exotic land with wonderful scenery. I've been to the s i m i l a n Islands once. It's a diver's paradise, but not for me. I didn't need scuba diving. The water near the shore was so crystal clear that you could see what was underneath. The corals there were so beautiful. I do hope it will be preserved in that state forever. Activity 14. Asking about likes and dislikes or gerund. Ask questions according to the cues given by using the following pattern. Do you like or Do you enjoy? Plus noun or verb ending. After you hear the answer from the tape, put a check mark in the box if it is positive, and an X if it's a negative statement. The first one has been done as an example. Number one. Yes, I like it. Reading is a key to knowledge. Number two. Oh, I love it. I always dream of traveling around the world. Number three. Sure, I wish I were Paradon s i c h a p a n Number four. No way, they're too scary for me. Number five. Definitely, it's so fascinating down there. Number six. Me? I don't think so. I'm afraid of heights. Activity 15. Asking about preferences. You will hear the cues for each of the five questions from the tape. Ask the appropriate questions using the pattern you have learned from the language focus. Then, after you hear the answer, write it down in the space provided. Number one Bungee jumping or rock climbing? I'd prefer bungee jumping. Number two. Needlework or wicker work? I prefer needlework. Number three. To live downtown or in the suburbs? 
I'd prefer to live in the suburbs. Number four. Bird watching or fishing? I prefer bird watching. Number five. Take the subway or the sky train? I'd rather take the sky train. Activity 16. Expressing likes, dislikes, and preferences. Write down each question you will hear from the tape and then give the answer according to your own preferences. After you have finished, play the tape again and practice speaking. Number one. Do you enjoy listening to music? Number two. Which do you prefer, painting or cross-stitching? Number three. Do you like action movies? Number four. What do you like to do in your spare time? Number five. Would you rather sing or dance? Number six. Do you prefer to play sports or computer games? Number seven. Which do you prefer, collecting stamps or handbills? Number eight. What is your favorite pastime? Number nine. What would you rather do, read or travel? Number 10. Do you prefer Thai or Chinese food? Unit 14. A trip abroad. 14.1. Getting ready. 14.1.2. Presentation 2. Listen to part of the telephone conversation between Gorn and his friend Paul in San Francisco about Gorn's upcoming trip to the United States. Then decide if the statements below are true or false. When does your flight arrive? At 6.30 in the morning. I'll pick you up when you get here. I'll be waiting by the gate. That would be terrific. Thank you. Oh, by the way, what's the weather like in San Francisco now? Do we need to bring a winter coat or a rain coat? You won't need a heavy jacket, but you should have a raincoat and an umbrella. You might want to bring a sweater too to wear in the evening. All right. If there anything I can bring to you from Thailand. I can't think of anything. Thanks. Well, if you do, you can send me an email. I will be in the office till Friday. All right. Activity 5. Pronunciation. Listen to the cassette and check your answers for activity 14.1.4. Then listen again and repeat after the speaker. Observe where in each word the stress falls. American Australian Brazilian Canadian Chinese English German Indian Israeli Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malaysian, Mexican, Pakistani, Portuguese, Singaporean, Spanish, Swedish, Taiwanese, Vietnamese. Fourteen point two point two presentation Listen to the tape Gorn is on his way to San Francisco. Sophie Lim, the woman sitting beside him, starts the conversation with him. Is this your first trip to the US? Yes, it is. Mine too. I'm going to visit my son, who is studying at the University of Arizona. What's he studying? Business administration. This is his last semester. He'll be graduating in May. How long will you be staying in Arizona? For 10 days. My son's on break now, so we are driving up to see the Grand Canyon. That sounds terrific. 
By the way, I'm Sophie Lim. I'm from Singapore. Nice to meet you. I'm Gon Sitigan. I come from Bangkok. Why are you going to the States, Gon? I'm visiting... Excuse me, can I have another blanket, please? It's cold in here. Certainly, just one minute. Thank you. Sorry. I'm visiting a friend in San Francisco. He invited me to stay with him. Will your friend be meeting you at the airport? I hope so. He told me he would. Well, I have a three-hour wait in San Francisco before my flight to Phoenix leave. Three hours? Really? Yeah. We get into San Francisco at 6.30 and my flight to Phoenix leave at a quarter to ten. I'm afraid I'm going to be very tired by the time I get to my final destination. Well, maybe you should try to get some sleep now. That's a good idea, but I guess I'm just too excited to sleep. Activity 8. Simple future or future continuous. A. Before you listen to the announcement made by the pilot on Korn's flight to the United States, Read and decide whether the verbs in brackets should be in the future simple or future continuous tenses. B. Then, listen to the announcement on the cassette to check your answers. C. The second time you listen, circle the differences between what you hear on the cassette and what you read. How many differences are there? Correct them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your pilot speaking. We've begun our descent and we'll be landing at San Francisco International Airport in about 15 minutes. Make sure your seat is in the upright position, fasten your seatbelt, and please remain seated until the plane has come to a complete stop at the terminal. Before you leave the plane, check to make sure that you haven't left any of your belongings behind. In just a moment, the flight crew will be coming through the cabin collecting the headsets, so please have them ready. If you look out the right-hand side of the plane, you'll see the island of Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge. Passengers seated on the left side of the aircraft will see the Bay Bridge and the city of Oakland. The temperature in San Francisco right now is a very pleasant 16 degrees Celsius or 61 degrees Fahrenheit. The weatherman is predicting that skies will remain sunny most of the day. If you are making a connecting flight here in San Francisco, our ground staff will be happy to help you find the right gate. On behalf of the entire crew, thank you for choosing United Airlines, and we hope you will fly with us again soon. Activity 12 14.3 Getting there. Presentation 1. Listen to your cassette. It's about a travel problem. Excuse me, but I think one of my bags is missing. What flight were you on? The United Airlines flight from Bangkok. And you're sure your bag isn't on the carousel? Well, I have been waiting for 20 minutes and it still hasn't appeared. I have one of my bags, but not the others. All right then. You'll need to fill out one of these lost bag claims forms. Put your name, your local address, and a local contact number at the top. My name, my address, and my... A contact number. A telephone number where you can be reached. Presentation 2. Listen to the next part of the dialogue between Gon and the employee from the airport lost luggage. Complete each blank with the correct question from the list below. OK, now what? What does your bag look like? Take a look at the pictures on the form and circle the one that's most similar to your bag. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell from these pictures. They all look alike. What size is your suitcase? Is it big, medium or small? Medium, I guess. It's probably about 60 by 40 centimetres. All right. What's it made of? Excuse me? I don't understand. Is it made of leather? Oh, I see. No, it made from nylon. And it's got a plastic handle on the top and a metal wheels on the bottom. Does it look like this? Well, I suppose so. Now, what colour is your bag? Dark blue. Do you remember what brand it is? Brand? I'm sorry, what do you mean? Brand. 
What company made your bag? Is it a Samsonite? It's American Tourista. Now, if you could just tell me what's inside your suitcase. Well, there's clothes and underwear, and in all my. Excuse me, are you looking for a medium-sized dark blue nylon bag? Yes, I am. Well, it's over there on the floor. Someone must have taken it off the belt by mistake. Thank you very much. I guess we can forget about this claim form. Activity 16. You're going to hear four mini dialogues. Listen and complete the table. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, could I take a look at your luggage, please? I have one suitcase just like yours and it's gone missing. Go ahead. Dialogue 2. I'm afraid I can't allow you to enter the country. Your visa is not valid. Oh no, what am I going to do? Dialogue 3. Excuse me, but I have another flight to catch in 15 minutes. I wonder if you could help me get through customs. All right, come with me. Dialogue 4. I'm afraid you cannot bring any plant products into the country. You have to throw them away. But they're gifts for my friends. Unit 15, Beating the Challenge. 15.1.2 Activities. Activity 2, Describing Food. Listen to the following description of Thai food or fruits and write the number of each item in front of the corresponding Thai name. Number 1. A stir-fried chicken dish with cashew nuts that is served with rice. Number 2. A sweet dish made with banana cooked in coconut milk. Number three. A large, strong-smelling fruit. Number four. Soup made with coconut milk, chicken, galanga, and served with rice. Number five. Hot red curry with chicken. Number six. Thai salad made with shredded papaya, dried shrimp, and tomatoes. Number seven. A salad made with glass noodles. Number eight. A small red and green fruit with hairy skin. Number nine. A vegetable dish made with many different vegetables, such as cucumber, tomato, pineapple, and onion. Number ten. A sweet dish made with diced water chestnuts, coated with flour, and served with coconut milk and ice. Activity five. Bargaining. B. Listen to the dialogue and identify the objects, price offered, and final price mentioned in each dialogue. Number one. Did you have a good time at the market today? Oh, yes. I bought several things. Really? What did you buy? Well, I bought a wonderful bracelet. It was priced at 3,000 baht, but I offered him 2,500. He ended up selling it to me for 2,900 baht. Number two. It's hard to get a discount on jewellery. Once I bought a gold necklace for 4,900 baht. When I told the man how much I wanted to pay, he said 4,000 was too cheap. What else did you buy? Number three. I bought a beautiful sculpture. They wanted 1,500, but I got it with my first offer of 1,000 baht. That's a good price. Number four. I also picked up this used CD player. The clerk wanted 2,500 baht. How much did you offer him? I offered him 2,000, but I got it for 2,200 baht. Number five. I have the same CD player. I bought it new for 3,000 baht. I offered the clerk 500 less, but he would only accept the original full price. I also paid 3,000 baht for it. Activity 10. Describing healthy lifestyle. Listen to the following sentences and choose whether each describes a healthy or unhealthy lifestyle. Example. Number 1. I smoke at least 10 cigarettes a day. Unhealthy. Number 2. I run 4 kilometers every day. Number 3. He drinks 5 cups of coffee every day. Number 4. 
I wash my hands before eating. Number five. They eat a lot of vegetables. Number six. He likes to drink whiskey. Number seven. I brush my teeth three times a day. Number eight. She practices yoga every morning. Number nine. I stand up straight. I have a good posture. Number ten. Children watch TV with the lights turned off. Activity 12. Positive and negative opinions of movies. Listen to five short monologues. Note down the type of movies each speaker is talking about and decide whether each speaker has a positive or negative opinion about that kind of movie. The types of movies mentioned are given in the box below. Number one. Most comedies are nonsense. The characters are not realistic. Number two. Dramas are too sentimental for me, I'd say, especially the ones based on a true story. Life is too sad already. Why watch something which makes you feel even worse? Number three. Musicals are very entertaining. It's nice to listen to good music and watch the performance at the same time. Number four. Action movies are most of the times very violent. Children should not watch them often. Number five. Watching a sci-fi film is always interesting because it is imaginative. Who knows what may come true one day? Number six. Fantasy movies are so fantastic. I'd like to see unicorns and angels come into real life. B. Listen to the tape and check your answers. I like action movies, but I really like martial arts movies. Jackie Chan does martial arts, but I love his comedy scenes. You can tell he really enjoys his work. Rush Hour 2 is my favourite movie. I'm crazy about that one. They say that Jackie Chan can't stand for a stunt scene not to look 100% real. He hates it not to look real. It was terrible when I heard he broke his leg on one of his last movies. He kept on filming, even though the pain was awful. Activity 14. Talking about pastimes. Listen to the tape giving descriptions of various hobbies. Then match the hobby with the person who does it as his or her hobby. Number 1. Sarah enjoys swimming underwater with cylinders of air for breathing. Number 2. Richard likes jumping off something high with an elastic rope tied to him. Number 3. Mary likes to use watercolours and a brush. Number four. Randy used to swim underwater with a tube for breathing. Number five. Megan's hobby is jumping from an aircraft with a parachute. Number six. When I was on holiday, I liked to use a small personal watercraft, similar to water skiing. Number seven. My little sister enjoys looking for and finding winged flying animals. Activity 15. Describing and asking about an object. Listen to the dialogues and identify the objects by circling A, B, or C under the corresponding picture. Number 1. I bought a lovely hat yesterday. Really? What does it look like? It's a pretty beige cowboy hat with a red ribbon around it. Number 2. Excuse me. What are you looking for? Can I help you? Oh yes, maybe you can. I'm looking for a medium-sized green long-sleeved shirt for my husband. I'm planning to give it to him as a birthday present. He's very particular about his shirts. He likes only 100% cotton shirts. Do you have anything like that? Wait a moment, please. Let me take a look at our displays. Thank you. Number three. Maria, I see you're going to the department store. Can you please get me some long, thin paintbrushes? Sure. How long would you like them to be? Hmm, maybe just about six to seven inches. And what color would you like? I always like black paintbrushes. Okay. Thank you.
นักศึกษาคะขณะนี้นักศึกษาก็ได้ฝึกปฏิบัติกิจกรรมการฟังการพูดและการสนทนาตามที่กำหนดในเอกสารการสอนชุดวิชาภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อการสื่อสารครบถ้วนแล้วนะคะรายการนี้รองศาสตราจารย์ดรวิริยะวงเลาหกุลบทเทพเสียงกรณันโทสาธรรมประสานงานและกำกับรายการรองศาสตราจารย์ดรอลิสาวานิตีที่ปรึกษาเนื้อหารองศาสตราจารย์ดรวิริยะวงเลาหกุลควบคุมการผลิตรายการชัดชัยสีทองทิมวิชัยโชคพิเชียนประกิจจักรวยเพทายสุคนทรังสีควบคุมเสียงและดิฉันปิยนันพรมสาขานสกลนครดำเนินรายการขอให้นักศึกษาทุกท่านประสบความสำเร็จในการศึกษาค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ